What's up everybody? I'm Robert, this is my wife Sarah, and we're having the Married Couples Challenge bow fishing. Uh, we're both shooting the exact same bow, so there is no explanation or excuse why she's gonna lose. This is a diamond sonar. It's built on the edge platform and it's got an AMS bow fishing reel. Everything about both bows is exactly the same. Today is a catch, clean, and cook, but you only get to eat what you catch. So hopefully she doesn't go hungry. Easy. Oh, look at the alligator. Y'all, I'm terrible. Okay, well, he was right there. Oh, I was way high. Right. Not there. I keep shooting high. first fish and because it's the first fish I get first fish bonus which means this cat fish counts as catfish? three fish basically I'm not one up I'm three up first fish bonus second fish bonus is ten points so I'm about to get second fish one ice your fish down nice ice brine to take the fish off the tip, you take that little point off, take the point off, those will go up, and he comes right off. How? I've given several haircuts, y'all. Long shot. How, I mean, how am I missing? One thing when you're bow fishing, make sure you pull right sunglasses. <laughs> Those are so you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, I was under a. I'm over, then I'm under. Like, what the fuck? Good shot. Two. So, you guys all heard this. She said second fish is 10 fish bonus. That means I'm at 13 okay, right well, now. Third fish is 20, okay? All right, so Sarah said you don't even need to take it all the way off, you just loosen it, which I didn't know that, so. Kudos to her. No, 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 no. I'm the one winning. I make the rules. How is that fair? Look at the size soft shell turtle. Oh my god, I thought that was a fish. Whoa. Whoa. 
I knew where his head was, I'd just reach down there and grab him. I told you guys, Joe is the man for every job. No, no, it is a turtle. Okay, there's his head. I see his head right there. dug into the mud. That was awesome. Whoa. You know he can still bite your hands right there, right? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> oh. Always an adventure, y'all. Hey, the fun never stops. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who knows what Joey's picking right now? Beautiful flower, and if they get too large, they become very tough. And the answer is... All right, you guys, you show up to Joey's house, you never know what you're gonna get. It appears we're getting some red cabbage. Beautiful. We got a family recipe at the Hill House. It's called purple. It's all we call it. And you uh, you shave it, coleslaw thin, add a red onion, sliced real thin, not much red onion, you know, you overwhelm it. Vegetable oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. Let it soak and it's spectacular. We'll be trying that tonight. Now, Mr. Steve Hill, this is a warm shout out to you, and we're making purple tonight. I've never done this, so Steve, if I'm doing it wrong, call me tomorrow. I think I'm doing it right, though. Uh, purple cabbage, we trimmed it all off so it's nice and clean, and we're gonna use that side of the shredder. Ooh, look at that, nice. Then we're gonna use some red onion. If you hear Arya going crazy, look at her. How awesome is this? Yes, let's save you that. Onion. Now we're gonna do some more cabbage. I'm making a pretty big mess with this. And he said, use uh, Lowry's, Lowry, Mike Lowry. Seasoning salt. A little bit of olive oil. What was that? Fresh cracked pepper. And some salt substitute. I want to just taste it, y'all. Let me taste it. Wow. That is stinking good. Y'all see that? That is what dreams are made of right there. This ain't no joke right here, y'all. I gotta introduce you to somebody. It's one of the most rad fishermen in the whole world. I don't know about that. This, I'm not joking with you guys. This guy is gonna go down as a legend. Not like a kind of legend, like a for real legend. We had dinner with him last night. We're trying to get him to start a YouTube channel because there's few humans on earth know more about fishing in the Florida Keys than this guy. And while we were out catching fish today, he catches this. What was it? 600 pound swordfish. 
Incredible. 175 <laughs> inches tip to tip. No way. Yeah, almost took down the beam on the barn. The whole thing was flexing. Oh my gosh. I thought it was coming down on us. So he says to me, you want a piece of swordfish? I'm like, yeah. Was a squirrel born with climbing gear? There's your dinner. <laughs> Enjoy it. Dude, that's like a 12 pound block of fish. Nick, thank you so much for the fish. I really sincerely appreciate it. And I can't wait to come down and fish with you. We're gonna take just a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. Rub that all around. Ooh, nice. Same thing on this side. Beautiful. Take some Everglades fish and chicken. Last thing I'm gonna do to this swordfish, I'm gonna take a little lemon zest. Zest freshens everything up. Gives it a happy flavor. Kids love egg noodles, so do I. This is an avocado cilantro dressing. Put about that much in there. And then that's wasabi. Even better than I expected it to be. That's phenomenal. <laughs> you know what's cool? When your grill pan is completely filled up with just a little quarter steak. So the whole reason I went with a dry pan is because I rubbed the fish with oil. When you rub that meat with oil, put it in a dry pan, you should get nice grill marks. Oh, money. All right, you guys. I'm going to take that piece of fish, just set it right in here. Deglaze that pan with a little bit of, that's just simply lemonade. Do a little zest in there. reduce. When I mean reduce, all you're doing is you're evaporating the water out of it and make it come down. All right, come on. Start making plates, y'all. Purple. shiner for the past week. It's a huge blessing to be able to sit here and eat a fresh piece of fish. Get that sauce. Really good. The sauce, super good. This is amazing. Great day. We went out bow fishing, had a good time, and I was like, are we going to eat garfish or swordfish? Yeah, I'm going to take the pumpkin sword. So, uh, great day, great food. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of it, being a part of our lives, part of our channel. That's all I got for you, though. We will be back tomorrow because tomorrow we're doing a night hunt. Take care. God bless. We gone.